Hi and welcome to Weekly Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Monday the 23rd of July. So I'm starting off looking at the, uh, the fundamentals as ever, what's coming out this week where we've, uh, we've got Broadbent speaking in a short while this afternoon. Um, there aside, um, really that's, about the, that's it for the uh, UK this week. <laughs> just today then so we'll be left to any comments that may come out regarding Brexit but with Parliament um, closing up for school uh, end of term soon it's if it's not ready um, that will um, suggest uh, we'll probably see less info coming out Brexit wise uh, looking at to the key data then that will definitely be coming out we've got the euro and um, your French and German flash manufacturing service data coming out tomorrow morning that often gives a bit of a kick around 8, 8.30 not massive movements but uh, can create some volatility the nine o'clock data which includes the whole of Europe also get, gives us a bit of a kicker quite often so uh, tomorrow morning got a bit of a bit of a move then that leaves it really to uh, Wednesday a very early morning inflation uh, crude oil inventory is not a lot much uh, to the uh, German IFO business climate at nine o'clock I don't even think we noticed it go past last one month um, and then following on from that Thursday we've got um, EC press conference which is the main one that we're looking for here uh, it's time that Draghi had his uh, say it's widely expected from the, the, the large banks that I see information from that uh, he ain't going to do too much more and we probably won't hear any more I'll get any more clarification uh, when he does speak at 1.30 there it's the 12.45 data may um, well it, it, it gave us a little bit of a surprise last time but I think it, the market soon got over it um, so it really depends on what Draghi speak, says at 1.30 leaving us then into Friday and we've got the advanced GDP so it's the first GDP reading for the US uh, so the key the key number this is it's released quarterly so it's a quarterly figure that's out then annualised so uh, we'll see how that runs but expected to come in at 4.1 versus a, a, a corrected 2% last time uh, but the weather and everything should be helping now surely anyway there we go that's the uh, economics just to summarise then just flash uh, PMI data um, key CPI for the Aussie dollar Wednesday Thursday ECB uh, the, key, the durable goods don't tend to give too much of a blip and that comes out just before Draghi speaks finally with a GDP right okay um, I'm going to look at the technicals um, in fact let's have a look at the technicals and we'll come back to the sentiment uh, from the commitment of traders report but um, technically then uh, the euro is not really done too much as I said uh, I've been saying it's it's probably pretty range bound I did um, joke this morning about moving this trend line again but uh, every time you move it I mean moved it one two three times if you moved it again it will be flat soon um, this this market is chopping it is quite range bound um, the, I mean from a weekly perspective it could still be seen as a bear flag sitting there the bigger picture of things it may roll over the draggy effect didn't certainly didn't help things last week in terms of for those bears um, it had a real booster it bounced back pretty sharply um, but just before his speech it started moving his, or his comments he, it certainly kicked over he reiterate, reiterated the comments Friday they pushed up some more uh, and I think he's mentioned it again over the weekend so um, he certainly doesn't like this strong dollar and uh, I did say in our trading room a while back if the uh, Chinese can't get in one way and he starts putting a lot of uh, pressure onto them all they'll do is make their currency weaker and they'll, it'll be a net uh, neutralized game potentially uh, but we'll see um, and some more um, more tax claimed by the US I'm sure but anyway for now chop is pretty much there the sentiment for the euro here from the the, the bigger traders is still I'm just dragging looking down at this point bottom point is still 70 for the um, pension funds etc the, the big slow money is sitting there around about 70 percent long 30 percent short sitting there it's moved um, marginally more towards the long side of anything on the uh, euro and bearing in mind this, this data was re oh, is, is set before um, Trump even spoke so there's a there's a there's an edging of money going towards the long side or more going towards the long side there sentiment with the hedge funds is is quite quite different almost three to one bearish um, so more shorts come out net short position still 
increase there so effectively between the two figures so net short increased um, net long increased on the for the asset manager so there is a, a well a draw either way here in terms of a, a fight to be had no doubt but uh, it could well just sit there uh, sentiment wise and not move too far okay looking at the pound technically big picture still looks weak I mean it's almost put a bearish pivot swing into the downside in this sort of movement it's seen um, daily wise we well we got the bounce not much of a bounce on the on the uh, Thursday big bigger much bigger bounce on Friday we'll see how it goes I mean this this there's the erring is to the downside certainly when you look at this lower highs lower lows all the way through here there's not a lot to be to set from a daily picture really to suggest anything else it's hit the weekly pivot so that's out of the way maybe on this short term is if you're looking at it's really short pitch you may say well actually it might have some more long side there and the, these markets with Trump trumping who knows they could they could continue to go in that way now let's just look at the sentiment on cable uh, pretty proud yep and uh, sentiment uh, well short positions increased from the uh, asset managers the, sl the big money the slow money is increasing uh, to the net side uh, short side interesting sentiment on the, from the leverage funds is, is well it, they can't make their minds up too much it's quite neutral I mean it's a 50-50 a that's not giving me the picture there uh, uh, below but it's a 50-50 on the, on the graphs there so nearly two to one short against long and the asset managers and uh, and pretty flat um, across the uh, leverage funds perhaps they, they they smell some good news and uh, are starting to pile into the long side but we'll see okay let's kick that out of the way push that out of the way and let's get on with the dolly yen so the dolly yen have a look at the weekly picture well it did come in pretty close into that uh, if it not hit it um, it's uh, caught that uh, 200 looks like it air kissed it or kissed it maybe um, but uh, again driven largely by Trump uh, that downward movement it was edging around the area anyway and there was a bit of divergence sitting there uh, so technically it's done what the technicals maybe have suggested it's edged and worn off that uh, um, divergence now bouncing off this uh, daily 34 which is a 4 hourly 200 um, there we go so it's bouncing off there has it got more downside with short term it might have um, let's have a look there it's certainly on the short term picture um, it could have I mean this is just one day and it's, it's not finished this candle yet so could see a little bit more of a correction but it has got some decent support there I think looking at the sentiment though uh, the sentiment really is uh, for uh, more short side and more, more significant shorts being added on both the institution larger institutional money and the um, hedge funds there's a quite significant increase on the short side um, quite a lot actually and uh, okay some of these guys can't make their mind up there's a there's, it's a bit more torn maybe shorter side money uh, quick money on the, uh, looking to benefit from any uh, movement to the downside there uh, we'll see it be interesting to see if that follows through and if the uh, trend continues uh, when we're looking at what was happening uh, with the um, if I can come sorry scrolling down here if I can look at this on the short side looking at the uh, this green chart here I mean it's suddenly really the short side really pitched up and it's been a, a trend they, they've actually been trending um, the uh, hedge funds getting shorter increasing their short positions there accordingly so overall um, it's uh, it's uh, well this would suggest this sentiment is bearish um, okay which would see further upside on the dollar as it's a dollar yen just to remind you okay Aussie dollar Aussie dollar well this is a, as I keep on saying it's a, it's a weak one it's struggling uh, much of way as the New Zealand dollar is it's it's in such a tight range and it's a sort of similar picture to the euro in this it's not that it's struggling to get out um, okay the euro's probably been a bit more 
I'm seeing a more of a bounce Friday, uh, Thursday, but sort of saw hardly any bounce. Actually, it's a bit more similar to the pound, I guess. Um, and then got the bounce on the Friday, but um, it's in it's range bound now. Could it go down further? Yes, I mean, it's double bottomed um, on Thursday, um, but there's still scope for this to potentially roll further. Sentiment on the uh, the Aussie, he says. The Aussie sentiment. Let's have a look here. Sorry, I bring this into place so you can see where we are. Well, the institutional money, they, they're short on it, <laughs> big time. Um, so that's seven seven to one, or so, roughly, just a bit short of seven to one. Um, short on it, but uh, there we go. Not a big deal of change there either. And the leverage funds, well, they're two to one short on it, so. Yeah, it's uh, overall it's uh, it's a short old market really. The retail money's got quite short, sh quite short there as well, and I'm just wondering whether that. Uh, well, sorry, the other reportables. Yep, non-reportables. Thirty-eight. Yeah, it's two to one on the short side there. It's possibly following the most wiser money there. So, Aussie dollar looks looks weak. At the end of the day, Trump's comments on Mother Frouse may just be washed out of these markets realistically. I mean, he's yes, he can say something, but uh, it's not going to necessarily have mo much more of an effect for a day or two while he's saying it, and then it will drift back to the uh, the trend it's in largely. So Canadian dollar, um, this softened, pulled back quite a bit on Friday. Um, it uh, it gave up its its, its gains, or oh, say so gave up its gains. The um, it, it gained on Friday even. Uh, the dollar gave up its gains here. Um, uh, the Trump the Trump effect certainly, as I say, delayed a bit more to Friday. Now, when you look at this position, it's been in a, in a, a bullish long for a, a while, and it's just not really going anywhere in a hurry. It's uh, it's quite restricted in terms of what we're seeing here. It may push up higher yet. Um, it's uh, it's 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 if it, it could just become very much range bound as we've seen with quite a lot of these pairs pairings so uh, yeah, there we are we'll see how that comes out there so we'll look at uh, um, see Aussie dollar Canadian dollar so the Canadian dollar looking at the positions then money coming slightly out of the shorts there but into the shorts there so net position to uh, nearly three to one short uh, for the hedge funds and flat and that probably sums up the lack of excitement on this market overall maybe uh, there's a chance if these are squeezed at all that we could could see um, it, it strengthen a little bit more and break below the uh, monthly pivot there but uh, it's it could come as I say come back down a little bit more we could see a squeeze on and it, I mean if this is doing an A, B, C movement may come down a little bit further but as I say at the moment it's choppy it can be biting people day in day out New Zealand dollar finally I uh, talked about this last week it's got into an extreme position on in terms of the you know, we've not seen quite extreme position on the overall positions they're extremely negative we did see a net up week there slightly but another messy old chart here pulling off at the moment it's not really going too far so it's already done the weekly pivot okay so it's, it's all about done it's it's lacking any any real drive here when you look at the sentiment that's there it has changed a little bit um, it's got a little bit less negative um, and that may be uh, it's the, the belief that it's it's done it's it's gone as far as it's going. The short positions here, still, uh, still negative, more negative there. But uh, we're seeing some money running into long positions gradually. There, there's uh, at least uh, well, nearly three to uh, three, three and a half to one uh, going uh, long on it. But I mean, it's, it's just okay. There's still some shorts sitting there at being added, but some long positions starting to to come through there. And when you look at the the extreme figure I was talking about last week which we haven't seen anything like it uh, since 2008 well it's just chipped off a little bit so maybe maybe the pressure's off it a little bit it doesn't mean to say it couldn't come down here and I've said it before uh, the, the only time it could be interested really if you want to be patient is just wait for it to confirm 
but it's it's got some more long long side or something so you need a clearer signal this is just noise at the moment and it may be best avoided okay that's it on the currencies um, a quick look at um, uh, the S&P's then let's have a look at the futures here come out looking at weeklies and sort of see what happened here we end up with doji very small week in the overall quiet week leading into the holidays and not really doing too much apart from well just rolling over a little bit I did look at the sentiment on this as well um, if it's just I'm gonna have to change this back to um, he says wrong 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 button to be pressing okay let's just go back to uh, court reports up here and look at the sentiment s and p's here now it's quite interesting in terms of what we're seeing here short side starting to get piled into again by the hedge funds getting short i mean the the balance is okay they put a few longs in there it's sort of i mean maybe short term quick money trying to make some bucks out of the, the rallies that are going through there remember that this is taken up on tuesday um but the overall short positions increasing here and even some of the long positions being closed by the asset managers they're very slow to move anything like this and well um, they've this slight pitch in there but it's it's it pretty insignificant in real terms and well, the risk remains um, against the shorts I think and it, it could just carry on pitching on with you know, not too far away from those uh, all-time highs there and well during the summer maybe maybe it may just go in and push up a little bit the old say, adage of uh, sell in May and go away well it's so far it'll have punished those that did sell in May uh, because it's uh, it's pitched up all the way since um, May funny enough <laughs> pretty much all the way there it's been pushing up ag still aggressively so that's it for me have a great one bye for now mm -hmm.